Question 14D. You may use the information on page 18 to answer this question. An airline company that has empty seats on a flight is not maximising its profit. An airline company has found that there is a probability of 5% that a passenger books a flight but misses it. The management of the airline company decides to allow for overbooking, which means selling more tickets than the number of seats available on each flight. To protect their reputation, management makes the decision that no more than 1% of their flights should have more passengers showing up for the flight than available seats. Given management's decision and using a suitable approximation, find the maximum number of tickets that can be sold for a flight which has 350 seats. Let n be the number of tickets sold for a 350 seat flight. Note that n is greater than or equal to 350 due to overbooking. Let x be a random variable that represents the number of passengers that show up to the flight. x is a binomial random variable based on n trials and a probability of 0.95 that a passenger shows up to the flight. Based on management's decision to have no more than 1% of passengers showing up for the flight than available seats, we need to find n such that the probability that the random variable x is greater than 350 is less than or equal to 0.01, or the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to 350 is greater than or equal to 0.99. Now let y be a normal random variable that approximates the random variable x. We need to find n such that the probability that y is greater than or equal to 350 is equal to 0.99. Note that the expected value of y is equal to 0.95n and the variance of y is n times 0.95 times 1 minus 0.95 which equals 0.0475n. Hence, we want the probability that y minus 0.95n over the square root of the variance, so that's sigma, square root of 0.0475n is less than 350 minus 0.95n over the square root of 0.0475n equals 0.95. Now note that this is simply the z-score formula. Now this corresponds to a z-score of 2.33 using the table of z-scores on page 18 or using the probability distribution function on your calculator. Using the z-score formula, we need to find the value of n such that 350 minus 0.95n over the square root of 0.0475n is equal to 2.33. Multiplying both sides by the denominator, we get 350 minus 0.95n is equal to 2.33 times the square root of 0.0475n. So from this point, it's just algebra solving for the pronumeral n. Squaring both sides to eliminate the third, we get 350 minus 0.95n all squared is equal to 5.4289 times 0.0475n. Expanding the brackets on the left-hand side and multiplying these two values together, we get 122,500 minus 665n plus 0.9025n squared is equal to 0.25787275n. Moving everything to the left hand side to form a quadratic equation, we get 0.9025n squared minus 665.25787278n plus 122,500 is equal to zero. Using the quadratic formula, n is equal to 358.303 and so on, or n is equal to 378.825 and so on. But n must be less than 359, as this would result in getting too many passengers more than 1% of the time. Therefore, the optimal number of tickets to sell on a 350-seat flight is 358.